gonna make the profiles boom, 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 boom. It's what it is. You already know what it is today right here on Gunner's Profiles. Real stories, real talk, factuals, actuals. What it isn't, let me show you the right. Uh, is that a preservatives? It's none of that, right? It's none of that fakery and shaky and bakery. And I'm in a style in direct fashion, as you can tell by that thumbnail. He called me out in Nellis. Why? Ten years later, we was at it again. I caught him slipping in the city of San Jose, San Jose Shark Stettles, San Jose Nettles. Stand up. Now, just because you get into it with someone doesn't make them your enemy. Just because there's people from the other side that are your traditional enemigas and amigos, however you want to say it, that you're tripping on, they're tripping off you, doesn't make them necessarily your enemy. Maybe at that point, particular point in time, yes, you guys are not seeing eye to eye. Get them. Let's jump them, right? Let's get to it. But at the end of the day, go on. Let them know, right? It's not always what it seems to be. Okay, so when I'm in CYA and Fred C. Nellis, um, I have a lot on my plate. At that particular time, man, this is 1992. I was stressing like a Smith & Wesson, man, allegedly, right? I was going through a whole bunch of changes. I'm a young man growing up, no familia to guide me, um, nothing but enemies. I'm in the backyard. How to survive a South Central, orderly, Whittier, where the girls are prettier. I'm on Whittier Boulevard. So I already know at any given point in time, I could wake up and not go back to sleep, man, or go back to sleep permanently. It could be a bad day in paradise. Um, and there was a lot of people that didn't like me. They didn't like me because of where I was from, because how I look, because of my Mongolian that was growing, because I had a 14 over my eye, because I was a Northender that refused to put his pinchy shirt on. Um, there was a lot of things and a lot of reasons why people wouldn't like me. I had an attitude. I had a chip on my shoulder. I had an agenda. I had an idea. My idealisms were I was trying to body someone to get back home to, to which I come from, you know, to which the soil where I toiled. I'm trying, so I'm trying to get back up north there, right? At that particular point in time. But I wasn't a disrespectful person. I wasn't going to do it by disrespecting and bumping baking soda breath on doors and yelling and screaming and fighting and cussing and busting. You know, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to do it with these and with this and a whole lot of that. Gora, brains, and brawn. Say it with your chest, Wes, right? Oh, power. I was going to do what I had to do. Um, now, the other side, the enemies at that particular time, which were the Southsiders, didn't care too much for me. There were some, like I said, that I have relationships with. We would chop it up. We were cool. We would tell jokes and stories. And those guys didn't see me as an enemy. They see me as another brown man going through a serious struggle. And they didn't take advantage of that struggle. They were too worried about their enemies from the guys and too worried about what they had going on than to worry about me. And so I appreciate that, man. To this day, I appreciate it. Because you don't understand, if having not gone through that, you don't understand what it is to wake up with 100 people around you that just want to do harm to you and damage to you. Um, so all we had was our own homeboys. Other Northeners of like-mindedness. Now some, we were on that same page just to get up in the morning. Gotta get up and say we're gonna get going. I'm gonna stab three, two, nine, right? That's what we were on. Or there were those that thought they were high-powered, better than the rest of us, or some that just couldn't even catch up with a tomato in their back pocket. There's a little bit of different people, a little bit of different people from everywhere, right? Different attitudes, different agendas, some are pretenders, uh, and some are real. Now, for the most part, 99.9% .9 of the homeboys that were there, I got along with. We were on that same page. Hey, the never-ending story. I said, this shit never ends, but we're going to get right to it. Um, and then there were a few that got there that we just didn't click. I just didn't like them or they didn't like me for no other reason than we could, you know? Um, well, there was a homeboy from San Jose there, okay? And me, I always got along real good with the homeboys from San Jose because I respected them just that much more. You know, homeboys from the north side of San Jose, the west side, mob, horseshoe, you know, bottles from the east side, from Palmas, uh, bottles from east side hoods, which was pretty deep when I was in the youth authority, um, uh, Vario Norte homeboys, um, there were so many shark stettles and sajoneros to which they call themselves. Um, the list can go on and on and on and on and on. Um, and I could sit here all day listing barrios, but that's neither here nor there. At the end of the day, I say that to say this. Um, there was this one particular guy that got there from San Jose who had a chip on his shoulder. You know, um, he felt that if for no other reason, because he was from the city of San Jose, he deserved more respect and more of everything than the rest of us got. You fuckers are from the Ayo, homie. I'm from Sanjo, he used to tell me. I'm a, she had a big old shark tattoo right here. 
And I and I recognized his his get down. And I recognized that he had been around maybe a little bit longer than I have, and he was gamed up. He was a seasoned vet. Um, but I didn't pay that. No, never mind. I thought we were all of equal standings. I thought we were all homeboys just going through the same types of struggles. I mean, Sasuke, I got up and I laced my boots up and my Bob Barker's the same way he did. Um, but he thought because of the area he was from, it was different. Now, I'm not woofing on Soho. I got nothing but love from the city of San Jose, but that's how a lot of the homeboys were from San Jose. You know, they thought they were more Norte than even the Norte was. And, and a lot of homeboys that are from other cities, smaller towns like Merced, Molesto, Fresno, and all these little areas will tell you, these vatos always acted like they were just better than us. Okay, not all of them, but some of them. You know, don't, 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 don't get it twisted. Shout out to Sanjo, right? Um, now, at the same time, this guy took a particular disliking to me because we were in the school area and I had like five guys getting up on me. He had one guy he was going heads up with, which he was losing the battle. He was like, help, help. Like, like I was supposed to run over. I got five autos on me, black guy in the shit out of me. Like I'm supposed to run over there and help him. Well, I wasn't able to make it over there before I got slammed on my head three times by the placas and mace several times. Um, so I'm zip tied up. I'm on the ground like, get him, homie, get him. And he's not getting him. He's getting got. Um, he always took that as I left him hanging or I didn't help him out. To which I dealt with who I dealt with. Hey, homie, the numbers, they weren't in our favor. So whatever happened, happened. So we go to the oil, to the box, the caja is what it was called. And he's several cells down, and he's telling the homeboys what went down, his side of the story, and I'm telling the homeboys what went down. And a lot of the homeboys, they're in there because they were in different areas of the school area for the riot or for the melee that happened. I wouldn't necessarily call it a riot. It wasn't like everyone was rioting. It was just melee, you know, about four or five Norteños versus about 150 Southsiders. Those are facts, right? They was coming from everywhere, and it was like, well, just, I, said, I didn't know what, God, where were your ass? With your motherfucking mates when they was doing, it was just a lot going on. Okay, so I hear him down the tier telling one of the homeboys, yeah, man, that Valto man, he was getting off with a whole bunch of gente, and then there was a time when them Valtos ran away, and he could have came and helped me. What he didn't tell him is that help him, and he was going one-on-one. -on -one. Where I come from, what I've learned a long time ago, if a homeboy's going one-on-one, -on -one, unless he's getting stomped out, or they got a pedazo or something, I'm not going to come to your aid, that's it. Handle your business like the man that you're supposed to be. Of course, we're all young kids and boys at that time, but you know what I'm saying, right? Handle your business in a menudo style in a direct fashion. Do you see the bumps all over my head from these Vato's battery packing the hell out of me? I don't have my equilibrium right now. Thank you, I'm all over the place, right? It's my story, let me tell it. My excuses, right? Anyways, I did run over there to help him and he felt some type of way. So as he's telling his story, I interrupt his story with the truth, with facts. I said, hey, bro. Let the homeboy know that it was a one-on-one -on -one thing with you. I was taking on five. You were taking on one. Now, to what degree of five and one, that doesn't compute or add up. He said, yeah, bro, but after you, you were fighting with five, and then they took off, and then you see me over there. I was saying, hey, help me. I said, well, why are you yelling help? When have you ever heard me yell help? You might hear me yell guard, but I don't yell help, right? Um, and so we had some words. Now, again, I come from that era of never bumping baking soda breath on the door. There's no reason to woof and yell and scream. It's not going to do nothing. They're still in between you. You can't do nada. If you can't do nada, don't say nada. Just proceed to the next light. Just do your thing like you're supposed to do it like a man, like a brown man. Sprinkle the woods in, brother, right? Just do what you does because, hey, can't call it like an alcoholic. He continued to bump his breath, right? Um... And all this was, oh, you're a coward. You didn't back my play. I'm going to let all the homeboys know. And to what degree of that was, what that's going to do for you? You're not going to draw me level. That's what's never going to happen. It's you before me, I said. Believe that. I got homeboys from Soho to back my play, right? You're not going to make a move on me because you couldn't even make a move on that little ass vato that was beating you down from Laguna Par uh, Parque Vikings. He was handling his business. Order the silent, stand up. Me and him got into it too. He put beaters on me. Both had hands. You're not going to do nothing to anyone, bro. Just because you were in Preston with your chest on all out doesn't mean you're going to do nothing. Um, and I left it at that, and he continued to bump it, right? Uh, bump it like he thumped it or like they thumped him. Now, what ends up happening is he gets to the point where, hey, that's right. We all need each other. We're all Norteños, so I ain't going to make a big issue out of it. But if I ever see you on the calles, I'm going to get you, right? Okay, I heard that before. In fact, there's a bulldog that was on my list. There was South Side that I just didn't like. It. If I ever went to Bakersfield, I said, oh, there's a clover, right? And there was a, just a lot of different things. A lot of people on the lista. 
Uh, so I was like, okay, I agree with that. Um, so we ne we weren't on the same compa. He was on a different compa from me. I was on a different compa. So it wasn't like we seen each other every day, only in the school area. So I used to see him in the square. We got involved in a lot of different incidences to which I did come to his aid or he came to my aid. And I thought bygones were bygones, but I never forgot. It was already downloaded in my CD-ROM, never to be erased. Um, I already knew what time it was because he said it. Once you said it, fill it up with unleaded. I'll take a half take. It's a guard. Fill it up. Do something. The wind's blowing. Um, once you have uh, uh, that already computed in your mind, you don't forget. You might forgive, but you don't forget, right? Um, so time goes on. It's years later. I ended up going to Preston myself and then from Preston to Carl Holton. Um, I'm doing my time. And people are asking me along the way, who was down there? What homeboys were down there? They're all interested. Everybody always wants to know, hey, who you were with, who you were sold up with. Do you know my homeboy from Mawari? Do you know the homeboy this? Do you know Chino from Stockton? Do you know uh, Puerto from San Ho? Do you know uh, Bugsy from boop -bida boop 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 That's just the way it is. So his name comes up a time or two. I'm like, oh, yeah, who I was down there with him. They said, well, how was he? Was he, was he about that? Because I know over here in OH and impressed, and he was about it. I said, no, nah, he, was, he was about his stuff. I couldn't fight a lick, but he was about it, though. And they said, oh, yeah, 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 you know, to what degree of fighting that we, you know, he's not no UFC fighter, but at the same time. Um, so everybody kind of knew what time it was with him, but he was a good homeboy. I never woofed on him and disrespected him. I never told him about our little conversation, um, our little, I guess what you would call it, cell warrioring. I never discussed that because it was nobody's business. And you don't speak on another homeboy if he ain't present to defend himself. That's what I learned. That's the way I was laced up a long time ago. Like, I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, this is a poop, bud. You know, I remember one time there was an Afrikaner and they were playing dice and Afrikaner socked him in his jaw. I wasn't going to put that out there. I might now. I'm older. I don't care. But at that time, I wasn't. I didn't want to get him in a wreck and, and have his homeboy feeling some type of way about him. And then uh, at, the, at the end of the day, him blaming it on me and then me having to sock somebody or get socked, right? Because I was taking elbows too. So I didn't want to go that route. So I just kept it kosher, kept it cool, kept it respectful, kept it real. And I was just like, yeah, no, nah, he's a good homeboy, man. And, and we didn't kick it like that because he was on a different comp uh, compa. But at the same time, um, yeah, he was definitely with this shit. And that was that. Now, years later, I get out. I get out and, and me being who I was at that time, my mind was pumped up. I felt like uh, I couldn't be stopped. I couldn't be touched. I was with my hair back and forth. I'm whipping my hair back and forth, right? I'm out there whipping, Tongolian, Mongolian pimping. And I get out. And of course, I had met a lot of homeboys while incarcerated. So I met homeboys from Salas, Grifa, Sanjo, Tulare County, Orderly, Vice, Goshen, Stand Up, Respects. I met homeboys from Safran and Oakland and, and any city all the way up to Delano, I said, Right. So I knew homeboys from everywhere. And of course, like we all do. Hey, when you get out, bro, you know, hit me up, hit me up. So I had that little red telephone book they used to give you in YA, old school stuff, early 90s. Um, and I had all kinds of homeboys, like castles, their names um, and their numbers written down, addresses you throw on mine. Um, so I start getting a hold of homeboys. And of course, me and my boy Biebs, we hook up with a couple homeboys from Saul that we happen to be locked up with in Preston. Um, so they're like, yeah, come through. And they're homeboys from the East Side Hoods. They're like, yeah, we'll kick it with some homeboys from um, Alviso. And so we all hooked up. There was a homeboy from Grifas, homeboy, a couple homeboys from Alviso, a couple homeboys from Sanjo. We were going to go to Sanjo to cruise on Story and King. If you know, you know. Other the east side, right? So we were going to go mess with the homeboys. Um, and we did. And we did. And so we go to this club. It was a club, man. I forget what it's called. There's a lot of homeboys there. I think it was like Pistol Pete's or Pete. I don't know what it was, right? But it was a club where a lot of good, righteous homeboys went. A lot of big homeboys and, you know, people of that nature went. Um, it was sold up. The North Angeles had it sold up. So, of course, we walk in, bing, da, ba, you know what I mean? Mongolians flowing. And we just think we're cool. Um, and I see the homeboy. I see the homeboy, and I ain't saying that he don't recognize me. I'm a little bit older, bolder for having the weight of the world on my shoulders. I'm a little colder, right? But I see him, and he's kicking it with some hyenas, and he's drinking. He's having a good time. And I put, shao, young cheeks in the hood trying to come up. Quick to pull the trigger on the next man, because he don't give up. I'm on the mission, trying to stack a grip. Red rag on his hip. I remember they were bumping Northside Soldier, and I'm looking at him over there like, huh, in the north side, this is how you ride. Red rag till you die. We're going to take it outside. I'm going to smash you, hit you in the eye. Then I'm going to stomp you out. There's no reply, right? I'm hitting the remix on him. He doesn't even know what I'm thinking. But I remember it all comes flooding back to me. Hey, man, I'll beat you up. I'll do this to you. I'll get you in the camel clutch. Order the iron chic. Guess what? It's saying... I'm going to put my hands in my hoodie right here, dwell in the lap 24-7 like JT the bigger figure, and trip out on this bottle, right? So I'm watching him. Like I said, he's like, young G in the head, check it. All right, he's doing his thing. And so I get out the homeboy from uh, Eastside Hoods. I'm like, hey, bro, 
Remember that? That homeboy was in Hawaii with me, huh? And he goes, oh, yeah, that's the homeboy. Whoop -de -whoop. Yeah, he was in Nellis with you, huh? I go, yeah. He said, oh, yeah, that's a good-ass homeboy right there. Um, he's out there doing big things now. He's out there making all the money. And I said, is that right? I said, well, so the other makes a lot of money. He's going to continue to make us a lot of money. But at the same time, is he anyone I shouldn't be able to touch? Because I just need to know what's going on with him before I make the next move, my best move. He's like, nah, it ain't, nah. He's just a regular homeboy, man, from the water. It's, it's all good. He wasn't from the hoods. He's from a different hood, right? Um, so I said, all right, cool. Oh, I'm approaching on some real G shit. So that's what I did. Um, through the night, we kicked it. And homeboys would go in and out to smoke frajos, uh, take a liqueur. So whatever you had to do outside, take a uh, torta, get a mamon in the car. Um, and so I'm out there smoking a frajo, and I see him. He's smoking a frajo. He's with these two chicks. So I approach him. I'm like, what's up, homeboy? He's like, what's up, Benny? Right? He's, like, he's like, still on his hardcore stuff. I'm like, that's right. I said, you remember me, bro? He's like, nah, bro, I ain't never seen you a day in my life, right? I said, oh, you about to, I said, you about to, I said, I don't like you. You think, God, you might have to come get me, I said, and direct to the left, and I sighed, and I sighed, because I, what I'm about to do is bad. So I say, um, you were in Nellis, huh? He said, yeah, I was down there, what's up? I said, there were some real ones down there, or what? He said, yeah, every homeboy was real. He said, we had to put in that work. I said, yeah, I remember. And he looks, Skinner. Oh, what's up, carnal? Damn, homie. What's up? It's been a minute since you've been up in it. What's happening? Hey, if them girls only knew. I'm like, yeah, if they only knew, man, that I was the one that was banging, dude. What would they do? Right? Sass, sass. Because he seen me putting some work. He knows what's up. But anyways, I was like, um, what's up with it? Let me get at you, bro. It's been a minute. He, now, he done forgot about our words, everything we had. But like I said, it was downloaded in my CD-ROM, man. I mean, my stuff don't malfunction, right? So I was like, let's go over here. So he's like, what's up? And the homeboy from the hoods is looking. He's like, watch out for we got homeboys here. That they're allegedly. Right? I'm like, you know that. I mean, I'm not handling my business. You're one hit. You're one hit. So I pull him to the side. I'm like, hey, bro, what's up? He's like, what's up, Ganache? Man, hey, you know, I got the plug on this and that and that. The allegedly plug, right? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. That's cool, bro. Man, it feels good to see you. And I was righteously speaking real. It did feel good to see him. It's also going to feel good to sock him in his jaw, but it felt good to see him at this particular time. You know, anytime you've seen a homeboy you ain't seen in years that you actually did time with and went through some struggle, it's all good, you know? So I'm like, yeah, what's up, brother? Um, I was like, hey, remember when we were in the caja in the hoyo? Um, you were telling the homeboys, man, that I didn't back your play in the square area, bro. But I had five bottles on me from every part of L.A. on me. I had a bottle from West Low, South Low, a bottle from Nella and Sella. Remember that? 818 eight, was over here bashing my head. In. You don't remember that, huh? He said, nah, nah, bro. We were young, bro. I was, hey, I was talking that high power stuff. Bro, I ain't like that no more, man. I'm in the game, bro. You know what I mean? I can plug you in. I said, yeah, well, well I'm still tripping, bro. He was like, oh, doggy, like that, you're still tripping. Uh, double up, uh, uh, boom. Back to life, back to the present times. I ain't gonna lie, he hit the swim on me. The Vato hit the, uh, the Brian Phelps. You know, he was doing it like that. He was breaststroking, right? And I was on it. Tiger, right? Um, I hit him with about three uppercuts, a right cross, and what they would call a nice little jab. Hey, he, he, um, he, he, hey bro, what, the, what, what are you doing, bro? You're not supposed to hit on homeboy. That's red on red. That's red on red. Ah, who cares? But this ain't the first or the last. And obviously it wasn't. That's why I'm in the position I'm in now. But I handled my business. Um, and I told them. The homeboy from the hoods right there. Hello, homeboy from the song came out. They broke it up. They're like, damn, you're tripping, oh boy. They were like, who is it, Walter? You bring Walters in our name. It was called Pistol Pete's. That's what it was where we were chilling. Um, so anyways, we're kicking back. And I'm like, hey, bro, look, real talk, Holmes. Um, I got nothing but love for you, bro. You know what I mean? I, I just... You said it, Holmes. You called me out, and I and I and I popped up. Right, the pull up was real. Years later, and I didn't expect this, but it's all good. And you know, we hugged it out. I hug it out. Hug it out. I hug it out. Bust down, tortilla. There was tortilla in there. They were twerking and shit, doing their thing. So, anyways, we hugged it out, and he was like, "I understand, bro." And he had changed. To this day, he's still a homie. To this day, I mean, we don't talk all the time, but every once in a while, you know, I get at homeboys that get at him. Um, he's still doing his thing righteously, you know, um, eventually, you know, I don't know. He's not, he's not active or nothing like that, but he's doing his thing with as far as in the, the game, however he's doing. Um, but he was cool. He was cool homeboy. And sometimes when you do change your attitude changes and, and you need to be chin check, man, just understand. I tell that story to say this, people don't forget just because time passes, man, doesn't change. Seasons change. People don't Right, I didn't. And that's what it was. Anyways, with that being said, I just wanted to tell that story, man. Thought 
I could tell it, you know, hey, he called me out then, I pulled up later. And it happens like that. The pull-up game is real. The pull-out isn't. That's why I'll hell a child support. Depends on that theater. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Guard! Let him know the rest. He's too busy. Get your money. Get your issue, man. Go out there and do it for your familia. If you like me, you like me, right? Hit me with that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Hit all notification bells, man, so that you can get all these stories going out. Gunners Profiles, Gunners Collective, boom, bangling in 2023. We ain't stopping for nada. Hit me with that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. If not, thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears this fly-ass crown. That matches. You already know what it is. People are like, you wore a hat today on your video. It didn't even match, Gunner. I'm disappointed in you. Why? I can wear whatever I want, Holmes. The gun. Bang, bang, and in that fashion.